Is it just me? Or is it getting crazier out there? So it's true. Influencer-induced body dysmorphia is something that is incredibly common, but very rarely talked about. And whether you know it or not, whether you like it or not, it could be something that is actually impacting you. So in this video, we're going to look at what it is, where it comes from, and how to deal with this. And standards for what a good physique is have been gradually shifting, decade by decade, year by year. And if you take some of the best built men from the 1940s, the silver era, and put them on a men's physique stage today, they would look out of place. They would look out of shape. They would be criticized for being, you know, not conditioned. They would be told to put the fork down, etc. And that's just how things are. That's the physique inflation that we've seen. And it seems to be happening at an accelerating rate. When it comes to social media, there is a tremendous selection bias. If you go to Instagram and go to your search screen, if you consume fitness bodybuilding content, your search screen will have a lot of enhanced lifters. Even if it's only a small portion of the population, it is a huge disproportionate amount of what gets the likes, the comments, and the engagement. Even in Hollywood, the physiques have inflated. Like a Pokemon going from Geodude to Graveler to Gollum to The Rock, they've gotten ridiculous. And sadly, they can't talk about what is actually causing these transformations. I know it. If you're a regular watcher, you probably know it as well. It's steroids. But you'd be shocked at how many people are in denial. How many people think The Rock is actually natural. And this physique inflation has even shown up in our action figures, what we let children play with. So in 1964, this was a G.I. Joe doll. And extrapolated to a 5'10 human, proportionately, they would have a 44-inch chest, a 32-inch waist, and 12-inch upper arms. And that's a decent chest measurement, and actually a little bit on the small side for upper arms. A few decades later, this is what we're playing with. 27-inch arms and a 57-inch chest. And is it any wonder that more and more people are going down the enhanced road? They see it on the small screen on their phone. They see it on the big screen in Hollywood movies. It's in their hands when they're a fucking toddler. Even the physique of Superman has gotten pretty absurd. Originally, initially, he looked pretty much naturally obtainable, and this was, surprise, surprise, in the pre-steroid era. But year by year, his physique inflates because you can't have actual humans who look more impressive than Superman. So year by year, he has to keep up with what professional bodybuilders look like. And in a very real way, steroids are contagious. And I know that's sort of a contentious thing to say, but it's absolutely true. If one person in the gym starts to do steroids, people are like, oh, well, like, I gotta do some catching up with this guy. What kind of sauce are you on? And they say, hey, I'm using Megadrol and, and Hyperander Stone. And they say, hey, well, I got the hookup. You want some? You'll get way, way better results, which is true, probably. Um, you won't have to work as hard, like, or you can work way harder and you'll just recover way faster and your results will be exponentially better. And they say, yeah, why not? Because everyone in their circle is starting to use it and peer pressure is a very real thing. And Greg Doucette recently did a video titled Obesity is Contagious. But this is true of any behavior, not just overeating or under-exercising. Also, the anabolic side of things. And I think normalizing PED usage is not really a good thing. It's not normal to inject yourself with drugs. You know, TRT is one thing if it's absolutely necessary, but anything more than that, it's not normal. It's just not. And a lot of people need to hear that because they're normalizing it and justifying it in their mind. It's not normal. And I would urge you to unfollow anyone who's a fake natural. Just immediately, point blank, send those motherfuckers a message that it's not acceptable and you're not going to be consuming their content. And then also consider unfollowing people who are unnatural and open about it, but whose content is not bringing you value. 
how much value are you really getting from following a professional enhanced lifter? You're not following for their lifting advice. You're not following for like the motivation because how is that motivational? You know, seeing some some guy do one arm cable curls and drop sets and, and other idiotic training practices which work for them but won't work for you. How is that motivational or useful at all? It's not. I would urge you to only compare yourself to natural lifters. And because you don't actually know who is natural nowadays, I would say go back to the silver era. Before steroids were prolific, before they even really exist at all into the 1940s and 1930s, and compare yourself to that. Because you know that they were natural. And these guys trained hard, but they didn't get super lean, which is not going to be great for a natural, especially if you want long-term progress. Training was just part of their life. It wasn't like an obsessive thing. They stuck with just the basic movements, nothing super complicated. And you can use these guys for inspiration and motivation because it's actually a one-to-one -one comparison. And if you look at a lot of these guys' physiques, Steve Stanko, Reg Park, John Grimmick, Steve Reeves, I think they look phenomenal. But it's an absolute fact that they would not stand out on today's social media platforms. They just wouldn't. And that is kind of sad. Because that's how the standards have gotten. And you know what I say? I say fuck the standards. I say to separate entirely. And then I slink out into the night? That's right. I S separate entirely if you do choose to keep following some enhanced lifters i do i think there's something to be gotten out of that but you gotta know which box to put that in mentally because if you don't it will mess you up all right that is all for this video like subscribe share turn on those notifications as well so that you decide what you watch not the youtube algorithm grab a copy of my book as well that will definitely help you in your fitness journey and I will see you in the next video. Peace.